Hello, I'm Kathy Wiseman, one of the co-organizers of Differentiation at Work, a program offered by the Bowen Center for the Study of the Family. I'm here with my co-organizer, Jake Morrill, and we want to give you a flavor for differentiation at work. Let me start with a little history. 1980s, I first met Dr. Bowen, and from the moment I met him, I knew that even though I was not a, clin a clinician or a mental health professional, that my work as a manager and as organizational development consultant and as a labor management manager, that there was a great deal in this theory that could apply to related and unrelated work systems. At the time, I was working for a large real estate company that managed shopping centers, and I could see the emotional process in the organization. Not that I knew what or emotional process was, how to describe it or what to do about it, but I knew that this theory held great promise for understanding management, leadership, workplace dilemmas, challenges, uh, takeovers, mergers, acquisitions. And then the following years have been an attempt to describe and write about and talk about how Bowen theory applies to the workplace. Um, Jake, I'd like to ask you some questions about what interested you about Bowen theory and what are the questions you're asking yourself as you're now doing work in organizations and coaching leaders? Yeah. Uh, early on as a, a minister in a congregational setting, Bowen theory gave me uh, a reliable framework to think through um, uh, and respond to situations of dynamic complexity. Uh, I was so confused often and um and having some um some concepts helped later on integrating um them uh in other settings nonprofit military etc i found that it was not only a, a defensive posture that was provided but also a way to chart a course uh toward my own learning and growth and um promoting thoughtfulness in others as a coach and consultant these days, I um, bring questions like, how is my anxiety affecting the anxiety in others in the room? How is uh, awareness of flock behavior uh, related, if at all, to uh, observing what's happening in a board meeting? What is the relationship between change management and uh, the togetherness force? Um, so I think just having those kinds of questions, that curiosity in mind, um, keeps me uh, alive and thoughtful, I hope, in relationship to, to others in this work. What about you? What kinds of questions do you bring? I, I am stuck from the last year's course on this question of what does help look like? It's it uh, Bowen theory has a very important way to look at help and the kind of assistance you give to families or organizations. Does that change in an unrelated work system? And if so, how do you how do you figure out what you are proposing and how you contract and then how you how you manage yourself? The other thing is how to manage togetherness whether it's a family meeting or an unrelated board meeting or a not-for-profit organization that's either struggling with rapid growth or downsizing. So I think Bowen, for me, has been a constant source of information data to help me evolve my skill set and my way of thinking. And I think if anyone is interested in doing that, please join us. And I know both of us would be happy to answer any questions for the upcoming differentiation at work for 2024 and 2025. Okay. Thanks, Jake.